everybody, thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to edit a video down for Instagram so it fits the Instagram qualified size and still looks good on a smartphone. I've seen some people demo this and um, a lot of people aren't happy with how they do it, so I'm just going to show you how I do it and if you want to do it the way that I do it, cool. If not, uh, power to you. But here we go. So. Um, so here's what here's what the end product looks like so everybody can see and then I'm going to show you how I did it Let these pieces be releases get some air in your soul Told them I'm a queen's native check the air in your coat I know too many loners I remember the antidote Niggas with no antis was asking me for the antidote I feel like the second day truthfully on my second eight Sticking to the hustle So that was something that I just made myself but um, Obviously it's going to be you know made for whatever you have so what you have to first do is have a video to put together. So here's the video that I made. I just took a, I made a brand new project and I made some clips and I took the clips and made it so the project was only 15 seconds long uh, because Instagram only allows for a 15 second long clip. So I didn't really do anything special here. So I exported my project and I put it back into my project finder library thing right here. And here is the final product of that video. So this is all the rendered file from an exported project that I created. That was this one right here. All right, so uh, I've already created a project that, or an event that is basically set up so that way every single time I have to upload an Instagram clip, um, I have all of it set up for me here. So I'm going to create a new project to show you what I've done. First thing you're going to want to do is come over here to your file. You're going to go to new project, assuming that you've already made an event that you want to, you know, make a Instagram clip in. So make an IG template or Instagram or whatever you want to call it. So when you're making your project name, name it something like however I named it IG template. I'm going to name this one Instagram template instructional Ooh, my typing is off all right so now when you come down to your settings here you're gonna go to make sure that the custom is selected and you're gonna come down here and click on custom and then it's gonna let you edit these resolutions over here you're gonna want it to be 640 by 640 personally I shoot in 23.98 that's what my camera is set to so I'm gonna leave it for that but um, obviously videos can range to whatever so make sure that your video is set to the same as the same frame rate as any of these so I'm gonna leave it and I'm gonna come down here leave all these because these are fine and I'm gonna click OK so here you have a blank project you're gonna come and find the project that you want to put up which is this one here so obviously this is 1080p, you're dragging it into a project now that's 640 by 640, so it's going to size it down for you. So when you drop it in, you'll notice now that you have these large bars on the very top and bottom, and you basically need to make sure, or I, I mean, I guess it's up to you, but uh, I like to color them white because it's the same color as the Instagram background, so it kind of looks better in my opinion, a little more clean. Some people leave it black to leave the black and white bars, but it's up to you. But I'll show you how to do, how to uh, make a white background. That way, when you upload it on Instagram, it's nice, white, clean. It looks a little minimal. So you're going to come over to here, and you're going to click on All. And you're going to see Custom. You're going to bring the Custom over here. Drop it below. Click on it, and you'll see your Publish Parameters options. You can change the color. So I like to just kind of drag it. Just like that, so everything on the top right, you can see RGB is all 255, 255, 255. Um, that's how you know that it's completely white. So now the background is white. I like to put my logo at the top, so if you have a logo, there it is. So I take the logo, I put it on top because it, uh, Final Cut Pro works in layers, so you need to tell the the logo where it needs to be. So you're going to take this, drop it here, or wherever you want to put it. You can even type text into the, the top or bottom. Um, 
my logo is gray, so I always have to come to the color board. A good tip here, if your logo is a different color, say your logo is white and that's the only color option that you have, you can pull up the color board by clicking on the magic uh, wand here and click on, uh, it says hi color board here, but it should say show color board um, if you don't already have it open. Click that, it'll bring your color board open. You can go to the exposure or you can even go to color. I want to make mine black. So I'm just going to put it black. And now you can see. Let these pieces be releases, get some air in your soul. Told them I'm a crazy name to check the air in your code. So the project's playing fine, it looks good. So that's it. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to come up to the top and you're going to click share, master file. And your settings are basically going to, you can name it whatever you want. Click on settings. Your, your settings are going to want to look like this. Your format is going to want to be Apple devices. Um, it's going to be fine for Apple or, or Android. It really doesn't matter because they both accept uh, the same kind of file format. Um, on If you were to click on video and audio and master it as if you're going to do it for a computer, it'll make the file size a lot bigger. So watch when I click this, the file size on the bottom, it's 2.81 megabytes. Now it goes up to 86.4 megabytes. So that's a lot of room to take up on a phone or something that you need to save it to. So you're going to click Apple devices. It's going to take it down to 2.81 megabytes, which almost any phone's going to take. And you're going to click next and you're going to save it. I have a master file files folder here, so I'll just save it there, but make sure that wherever you save it is somewhere that you can get back to it easily. Cause a lot of people will just save it wherever and then have to go look for it. But anyway, click on master files, save it there. Once it saves, there we go, and here we go. So now it's open. This is the true size that it'll show. Let these pieces be releases, get some air in your soul. Told them I'm a crazy native, check the air in your coat. I know too many loners, I remember the antidote. Niggas with no antis was asking me for the antidote. So that's it. I hope that this helped you today and that uh, you figured it out and everything worked out for you. And if you have any questions, post them below in the comments and I'll make more videos in the future. Alright, take care.